Today is meal prep day, and we're going to not just prep for this week, but we're going to prep for some easy meals for this fall, and one of them being classic goulash. So this is all of the starting ingredients, plus a little hamburger meat. That's on the show. So that's about three pounds of hamburger meat for us to start out with, and it'll end up making about five or six quarts. You don't put the noodles in, you put those in later. Um, this is the actual recipe, but this is the start. Very important step for canning. You have to make sure that your cans are completely sterile. So that means they need to be in a water bath, come to a complete boil, and boil for five minutes to kill any bacteria off. I have gotten all the ingredients together and stirred them up good in one very big pot. And it's about to go on the stove to cook for 15 minutes. really too bad that we don't have smell o vision because this smells delicious. <laughs> so I have all of my jars that have been cleaned and boiled and they're sanitized and ready for whenever everything's ready to be ladled out. And we'll pan them up and put them in the pressure cooker. The challenges of pressure cooking on an electric stove. You constantly have to adjust where you're at so that you want to get high with them. After all the time is up, an hour and 15 minutes for the quart size and the pressure cooker, let the pressure go down and open the lid and you can see that it is still a boiling. So that's hot. We're going to leave that alone for a little while and let it cool off before pulling it out. And then we'll put dates on it and names and have it in the pantry to use for quick dinners coming up this fall. Got lots of sports and activities with kids, so this makes a quick dinner where you just have to cook some pasta and throw this in and warm it up and it's ready to go. It's the finished product, goulash. It's what's for dinner. <laughs>